I made a really sweet play, catching a ball behind my back. The bottom being completely blue is kind of sweet. My drone flying buddy, so when I was in Cleveland, I actually caught the ball. Another thing that's crucial for elbow health is, what even is this? Season's coming together pretty nice. I can't even get to my locker. I gotta clean this stuff up. Oh, I know what this is. Now I need spray paint because see these cleats right here? This is my last pair of cleats that are painted this uh, blue color and they're starting to develop a hole in them, like right here, which means I'm gonna need some new cleats. But since I don't have anything but this color and they have, uh, see like this blue? Yeah, can't use that in a game. So I'm gonna have to spray paint them so I can use them in a game. Foot simulator. No idea what a foot simulator is. Oh, Welcome. Oh, sorry. Okay. Heelmo ankle trainer. Supposedly going to teach my foot the right way to behave. I have to learn how to use that. Can't open it up. I need something sharp. What is this? This couldn't be more appropriately timed. No, 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 no. Go ahead. Why are they mass? This person says that they're a fan, and they've noticed that I always unpack cardboard boxes with my bare hands, so he sent me this. <laughs> Perfect, so I can use this the rest of the time that I'm doing this unboxing. Massive. What even is this? Oh, it's good. Yeah. Yes. Look at that. What is the Yu Gi Oh! Yu Gi Oh! This is the evolution of Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon from Yu Gi Oh! I used to play Yu Gi Oh! as a kid. Uh, I can't read this. Look at this. Also, a YouTuber called WGB Channel found out that you have the same hobby. Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. Yeah. So, this is from a fellow YouTuber. WGB channel. Okay. We also got oh, some. Uh, okay. God. Yeah, Pokemon cards. I can't take everything out of this box because I'm not going to get it home if I do. So look at this. Oh, I can't get my camera back. Oh, there we go. Thank you. Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon and the Pikachu cards. Pretty sick. From fans? <laughs> From fans, yeah. Ha! Wow, that's nice. Ha! So cool. Yeah. You should film that. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> now. Would love for you to take notes and design your own. All blue and black, got some paisley on it. See, can you see that right there? And uh, got the Bow Riders logo on there with a little bit of paisley underneath. 12.25 inches, Laser Pro Sports. All right, very stiff, I'll have to break it in, but it's got a little sword right here. I don't know if, can you see that in the camera? Laser etched in there, we'll get to that. Thanks, Laser. Box number 800. Samurai. Bauer with a sword and baseball and base stars gear. Pretty sick. This will definitely be going up on my wall. Many, many boxes. More spray paint because I sent it to the wrong location, so I ordered. So this is from some fans and recommendations of things to do in uh, Osaka, Kyoto. Kind of cool. Oh gosh, it's all falling apart. Oh no. All right, they actually sent Rachel and me some Crocs. They said they're fans of Rachel for bringing me to Japan. This is what Rachel's Crocs look like with uh, Pikachus on them, Kabigon, Charmander. Let's actually, let's cut to Rachel's reaction to these Crocs. Japan, this is what Rachel's Crocs look like with let's uh, go. Pikachus on them. <laughs> mine are amazing. Here's mine. They may not rain as much. Those are far cooler than Rachel's, so. You like? <laughs> this is a big box, envelopes, um, packages, letters. I appreciate every single one of you who sends me these. If I don't respond to you, I'm sorry. Uh, it's not because I don't appreciate it. I just, I probably have a hundred plus things in here and this happens every time I come to the stadium. So thank you guys all. Uh, I really appreciate you. And I try to respond to them when I can, but I just don't have time to get to all of them. All right, what is this? This letter starts out with, hello, I'm writing a letter in English for the first time. So there are some strange sentences, sorry. In February this year, their father passed away. He was 65, and that really shocked, really shocked the family. But on May 3rd, they watched a game at Yokohama Stadium for the first time, and that was my first match in Japan. And they took inspiration from that and courage from that. And they sent me a gift because um, my pitching uh, gave them courage. So uh, thank you for this. I'm sorry to hear about your father. Ugh. Look at this. Eric Sim in a box. <laughs> Kabi gone. <laughs> Kabi gone? <laughs> I do love a good Eric Sim doll. I think the last thing for today is a while back I ordered a uh, an SSK glove. This is uh, <laughs> this is what it is. This says pudding on it, uh, which is Jigglypuff, and so I designed this to look like uh, Jigglypuff. 
this is the glove. A couple key uh, unique features about this is uh, you see the windings all the way here and all the way around. That's uh, definitely different. Go ahead. Good old bink. <laughs> and this pattern is actually like uh, very wide, like through this part of the glove right here. Pinky is actually like very wide as well. So I'm interested to test this out. I'll have a review on it coming up soon. It says uh, Katana on the inside. I'm gonna have to get on these glove reviews. I'm running out of time, but it'll be good to try an SSK glove. I haven't tried one yet. I know they sponsor Eric Sim. Uh, so hopefully my gloves better than the ones that he that he gets. <laughs> the last thing to say is I know I always joke about bringing Eric Sim to uh, to Japan when I get Kabi going, but he's actually coming to Japan with the Momentum crew in the end of September. So if you want to see some content with Eric Sim in Japan, go over to his Instagram, let him know, go over to Momentum's channel, let them know what you want to see him do while they're in town, and we'll try bringing to you. I pitched tomorrow and I got one pair of cleats and they're about to break, so I need to uh, make a second pair of cleats, which means I'm thinking I'm just gonna spray paint them all blue. Like literally all blue, like no white on the bottom or anything. It'd be the most unique pair of cleats ever because I'd have no logos on them, <laughs> just all blue. I found my box. Now I need to find a place to spray paint. If I was gonna spray paint my cleats, could I do it like in the parking lot? I wouldn't be like disrespectful or anything. Okay, all right, thank you. I think I'm gonna take the laces off. Laces are already navy, which is what I need. I hope this is the right color. Definitely better than this, but uh, these are my practice pair of cleats, which could become my game pair of cleats if it works uh, and I need them, but. What? Honestly, I, I think that looks pretty cool. I don't know how it'll dry, so I gotta wait a little bit. The bottom being completely blue is kind of sweet. I think this is gonna work. I have no idea how durable this is gonna be. Paint might just scrape off. I don't know how many coats I'm gonna have to do. What do you guys think? Do you guys like that? Zero swag and just go out there and ball out. That's what I want. It's like all you people commenting about me wearing a backwards hat in Nobu. You know who the only people who wear a backwards hat in Nobu are? Me. That's kind of cool. Also, people that don't get the fuck. Seems to already be dry after a couple minutes. Oh, nope. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, there's no way they're going to tell me these aren't navy enough. I mean, this is, I mean, I guess it's slightly different and it's just for a case of emergency. They should do two sets of 10 exercises of each of these. Deviation this way, deviation that way, flexion this way, extension that way. And then I'll do one where I do an isometric hold like this and rotate the band so that I get through the pronation and supination of the forearm with the extensors firing to balance out all the work that I do on the uh, pronator and the flexor side. Another thing that's crucial for elbow health is actually bicep strike. So if you think about it, when you're throwing the ball, your arm is extending away, and if it goes too far, then your elbow has max extension. Anytime your joints are functioning at max end range, it's more dangerous. In order to counteract that and stabilize the elbow at max extension, you need to do eccentric bicep work. So this is how I get that done. Take six seconds from full contraction and have someone pull you away until close to full extension, but you're supposed to fight that as hard as you possibly can. And it simulates what happens when the inertia of the ball overcomes your bicep and extends the elbow. And if you don't have someone there to do that with you, the one thing you have to watch out for in doing it on your own with a dumbbell is you don't hyperextend your elbow with weight on it. Put a block underneath. Make sure that the weight can't extend your elbow all the way to the maximum. A little bit dangerous. Uh, definitely preferable to do it with someone. Now we're going to see plants. It'll have plants, obviously, but it's a Japanese garden. Shin Yokan Shin. Shinjuku. Shinjuku. <laughs> Never listen to Mr. Bauer's pronunciation. <laughs> You think you just look at your face and be like, oh, he's down yeah. over 65. Yeah, but they always check, it seems like. They yeah, so which way are we gonna go though? So a little history on the uh, no drone sign. Megan is actually my drone flying buddy. So when I was in Cleveland, Megan and I would build our own drones and go fly them together. How do you feel about the no drone signs all over? Knew better than to even bring my drone into this country after looking up some of the drone laws and you had to apply for a 10, 10 day prior like permit to be able to fly over here. So I'm like, well, I know that's not getting packed. I respect it because so many people don't follow common courtesy. Not me. 
when I cut my finger in the playoffs, I was designing a prototype. Actually, you ended up flying for a while, not the prototype, but the actual like version of it. So it was Wolverine 2.0 that you made with your 3D printer, but it wasn't my drone that cut your finger. I wanna make sure that that is under like full disclosure. It was not my drone. <laughs> Some of my favorite flying that we've done is actually flying sunset in Arizona. I guess there's different kinds of traditional ones, but that tree's definitely been bonsai because you don't get like scraggly branches like that, I don't think. Definitely looks bonsai to me. Traditional garden, if they did the the sand carving, like the Zen stuff. Yeah, some of them have like a, a sand area, you know, some of them have like little shrines in them. I guess there's certain things that a traditional garden will have. Mr. Miyagi, like. Yeah. That's such an American understanding of what a traditional Japanese garden is. Mr. Miyagi. I'm not culturally educated yet. You're uncultured. That's why you came to Japan, to get culture. The trees, you'll see they all have like markings yeah, on them. Right. So that's actually like a Japanese, I don't know if it's a law or a custom or something, but all the trees in like a, in a park or like a garden or something have to have markings on them to tell you what type of a tree it is. Is it awesome? Yeah, it's recording. Got a new piece? Oh, you like this like round. Yeah. Just makes my pocket deeper. Yeah. Mine are, mine's like a bowl. Huh? It goes in, it's gonna have a tough time coming out. <laughs> Where do you oh, new glove. New glove. Right. New glove. T? T? A B. B. What about bow? Sword. <laughs> Not meant for infield, but uh, I turned a double play the other day. I actually caught the ball, transferred the ball, and made a correct throw. <laughs> I got done with it and I was like, wait, I didn't even think about that. Thank God, I would have yipped it in the center field. <laughs> well, what started out as a sunny day about 10 minutes ago is now a very cloudy day. Uh, we got a typhoon coming straight for us. Uh, so it's supposed to rain for like six straight days. Who knows about our next uh, series of games? Hopefully we get him in. I would like to pitch. I come back here, ball. Ow. I can't see. I'm cramping. My shoulder hurts. Don't take two days off of throwing. That's the lesson. We got a new glove review today. Green Zet glove. I'm gonna keep this one pretty short. Came out of the box, feeling perfect. Like it's a very light glove but it doesn't feel floppy and it's super broken in, but it doesn't feel too loose. Green leather with some uh, greenish yellow stitching in it. One interesting feature, this uh, inside part of the glove right here, this is deer skin. So it actually feels super nice on my hand. Potentially lasts a little bit less long because deer, deer leather doesn't do as well absorbing moisture. So we'll see how it is in the long run. Big fan of not only the color of the glove, but the feel of it, the way it closes around the ball. Favorite feature about it is this logo on it, the TB Sword logo. That was one of the worst throws I've ever made in catch play. One of my new favorite gloves, this one and the Mint uh, Marucci glove are right up there close to the top. Definitely the one I'm using in the game next. So we got a family excursion to the zoo. They have red pandas here. These red pandas are just super cute. Like one of the cutest animals. The red panda is sleeping, curled up. You can barely see him through the window. But what's interesting to me is his outdoor cage. <laughs> He's so fluffy. Oh, he is fluffy. How does he not just like climb in the tree and just like get out? I don't understand. Maybe he wants to climb his way out and come home with me. Oh, a little baby. Funny watching the little baby monkeys. They're like little little toddlers, little human toddlers. Next up, we're gonna go check out these animals. See how they are in their cage. <laughs> oh, we got reptiles. Lizards. Lizards? Where's the snakes? That is a good lizard. Look at that puppy. <laughs> yeah. How about this snake that's like halfway curled up down here on the second level and then chilling up on the upper level? How did these two turtles get on this plank of wood. I wonder why the tortoise is ramming the other tortoise. Is that like a mating thing or is that like a, hey, I'm putting you in the corner, stay there. <laughs> this is what my locker looks like coming back from a long road trip. Look at this. I mean, it's great for a what's in the box episode, but I got no place to move here. Special hat. 
We got special jerseys for uh, this series. Yeah. Oh, size check. Size check. One quarter. Normally wear one quarter. It's one eight. Ah, one eight. Yes. I somehow stupidly brought like five gloves for a road trip, even though I was only going to pitch like twice. What is this? I need to be better about packing. That's way, way too many gloves. We've been on the road for a while, so I haven't had a chance to go through all the stuff that was at my locker, and there's a lot of it. Base stars are selling hats with uh, my logo on it, so you have this like beige one here, hats like this, bow outage. My favorite one is this uh, this design, black hat, snapback. My favorite version of it is this blacked out one. I don't know if you can see it or not, but uh, yeah, blacked out, black on black. Also, we got a whole bunch of other stuff that they're selling. These things here, socks with the Bower Outage logo. Got uh, these designs here, socks with the Bower Outage, Bower Outage towel. For the people in America watching this, in Japan, towels are a huge thing because everyone just like holds them up at the game and that's how they like cheer on their favorite players, favorite teams. Bower Outage towel, full size. Extra size, is it upside down? It's upside down. Like bath towel, uh, small bath towel, but definitely bath towel. We have a bunch of new Bower Outage merch. I love this design, this is sick. You got sword. I don't know how to hold this, like uh, this. I like the electricity coming off of it. That's my favorite part of the design. So that comes in black, comes in blue. Uh, we have a new design. This one comes in this like heathery, kind of, it's not a gray, it's not a beige, it's a, uh, yeah, I don't know. But uh, this is the design. You got the swords coming through the, the sword, which is sick. I think from the color scheme standpoint, this light blue one, probably is my favorite. So that's cool. You also have this uh, this white shirt here with Trevor Bauer. Got sword down here, kind of like a baseball card type of a look. Vintage, pretty darn cool. That one comes in white, also comes in black. And then uh, this last design, <laughs> this one. I mean, look at that. Like just a mini version of me with a big face. Traditional, I think they captured my, uh, oops. Come on shirt. Ugh, Paul's gonna black and white me on this. It's not gonna be great. I think they captured my game day scowl very well. That's pretty spot on. Also comes in blue, and you can buy them at the link right here or in the description is the Bay Star store, uh, Bay Store. For the people watching in America, if you don't wanna buy stuff through the Bay Store, you can get Bower Outage merch at TrevorBower.com and we got some new stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Wrong package. It's game day and the weather is not perfect, so I'm hoping that we get the game in. But what is perfect is my new favorite game day t-shirt. Check this thing out. I mean, that's sick, courtesy of Momentum. You can get one for yourself, the link below in the description, watch-momentum.com. They're actually coming to Japan very soon, so if you wanna get a shirt to support them when they're here in Japan, go for it. But definitely get yourself one of mine, new favorite game day shirt. Hopefully it's got some wins in it. Another good night. Uh, we won eight to two. I went seven innings, zero runs allowed, 10 strikeouts. One hit by pitch, no walks, and four hits. I made a really sweet play, catching ball behind my back. I also made two really bad plays, just not being able to catch a ball like just normally. boys came through, scored eight runs. Uh, I think we scored seven last night, so two wins in a row now, and the offense is coming alive. Happy for all the boys in the locker room. We'll finish it off with a couple stats for you since June 1st, after my third start, uh, my worst start of my career. I am first in NPB in innings pitched, tied for first in wins. I am first in strikeouts, third in batting average against, and I am fourth in ERA. Season's coming together pretty nicely.